Good morning and welcome to another episode of Drew's Book Reviews. So today's book is going to be The 100 by Cass Morgan, Day 21, second book in the 100 book series. Uh, so again, with this series, I got interested in it from watching the TV show. And I just love the concept behind the TV show. And that's why I kind of discovered that it was actually a book series as well. And so I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to get that book series. And I'm really glad I did. So for those of, those of you that don't really know... The concept behind the 100 is that it takes place several hundred years in the future. Mankind has been in this orbiting space station or spaceship, essentially as the colony of what is left of mankind after this po post-apocalyptic world. And the world has gone through its nuclear winter and the radiation levels on Earth are just not sustainable for human life. And so they've had to live in this, this spaceship or this space colony essentially for hundreds of years. But the colony's failing and now they need to start trying to recolonize Earth in the hopes that the radiation levels have died down to the point where life, human life can thrive once again or at least at the very least survive. And the 100 are initially these group of youth criminals, so young adult criminals, teenage criminals that were sent to Earth to prove that the Earth is livable once again. Uh, and, of course, there are a lot of differences between the book series and the actual TV show. As I continue to read the book series, it, it, it's apparent that the show is based off of the books, but definitely does not follow the storyline within the books themselves. Uh, so this is day 21, uh, essentially three weeks after the initial landing on Earth for the 100. And they are are now at the point where if they were going to die of radiation sickness... We would see something happening. There would be some kind of uh, indication of that, but there isn't. They've also discovered that they are not alone in the world. So again, uh, this review from this point forward may contain some spoilers. Just giving you a warning right now. Um, but essentially, they've learned what they refer to as the Earthborn in this series. In the TV show, they refer to them as grounders. But we learned that they're not alone. That in fact, Earth was never completely abandoned and there were human survivors. Uh, and uh, these survivors have thrived and created kind of a new civilization, a new society. But there's been some conflict. We learned that the 100 were not actually the first group of people to come back from space. And we learned some things about Clark's mother and father specifically. I won't get into too much detail there, but definitely we learn what really happened to them. And... Apparently there was this conflict that arose that led the Earthborn to not trust those from the colony when they landed, which kind of arose to the initial conflict. Now this group of Earthborns split into two rival factions because of an incident that happened with the initial uh, space colonists coming back to Earth. We don't have a lot of details on that. Um, I mean, we know a little bit. We know it involved the death of a young boy from the Earthborn group. And so they kind of split off, one not trustful, one wanting to get rid of all the space colonists and make sure they don't survive. And we kind of get into this conflict that's been set up, and almost in a three-way, you've got the peaceful Earthborns who are trying to survive and fend off the violent group of Earthborns that split off, who are also trying to get rid of the space colonists that came back to Earth. So overall, just really good, really good setup there. I really like the interplay between these three groups. Though we haven't really met anyone from this split splinter group of Earthborns yet. But one of the things that really kind of stood out to me and I really liked is there's this one scene in which our character Wells, uh, he is challenged quite directly by Sasha. She's one of the Earthborn from the peaceful side of the Earthborn group. And Wells believed that the initial space colony, those that fled into space um, to escape the atomic apocalypse, basically, they were groups of people from what is referred to as the neutral nations of Earth. This is the history that he had been taught, that he was told that they were all from neutral nations. They weren't involved in the conflict. And Wells is saying, well, the colonists were selected from these neutral nations. But then Sasha had responded, Really? then how come they all speak English? As a reply, well, if they're so neutral and only the neutral nations, why is there not a greater mix of language? 
are you really suggesting that only English-speaking countries were neutral in this global conflict that happened 300 years previous? Uh, and of course, Wells couldn't answer the challenge. He, it just, it's one of those things that says, wait a minute, that's a great question. Why are they all, were they all English speaking? So it really plays off of this idea that history may not be exactly what we're taught. And the version we learn of history within our school rules and classes and what we learn from our own governments and society may in fact just be the version of history that favors our particular group or society being taught. And so that's a really, really great concept. I love how it just kind of plays off that in that single question. Then why did they all speak the same language? Which definitely highly suggests that maybe it isn't what we were taught. And we all know that uh, much of our own history has been taught differently and eventually shown to be different in many situations than what we were initially taught. So this idea that history may not be what we think it is, it's just a fantastic concept. Love that aspect of it. Loving this whole book of day 21, I think is a really good follow-up to the initial 100, and I'm really, really enjoying the series. Like I said, it's definitely kind of in that young adult novel genre, but I love the way that it's written out. It or so many of the young adult genre, it's about a group of youth fighting against another group of youth in some fashion like the Hunger Games. This simply is not that type of book. This is about a group of misfits who are desperate to survive in a post-apocalyptic world and trying to figure things out and rebuild society. And it's just really well written. I'm really enjoying it. And of course, as always, is I highly recommend that. And I thank you so much for taking the time to watch me rant on this book really enjoying it and of course stay tuned because we are going to be reading the third book in the series the 100 homecoming will be coming up next on drew's book reviews so don't forget to stay tuned for that and again thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will make sure that the links to all my social media profile profiles are in the description below thanks again for watching hope you have yourself a great day and until next time we'll see you on drew's book reviews bye